Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. My name is Rohit Joseph and I am a technical support engineer at Midas IT. In this video, I will be explaining the lane support, negative moment and reaction at interior support in Midas Civil. What is lane support, negative moment and reaction at interior support? So according to AFTO LRFT, clause 3.6.1.3 application of design vehicular live loads specifies that for negative moment between points of contrafacture under a uniform load on all spans and reaction at interior piers, the 90% of the effect of two design trucks spaced a minimum of 50 feet between the lead axle of one truck and the rear axle of the other truck should be combined with 90% of the effect of the design lane load for getting the most critical results. The distance between the 32 kip axle of each truck shall be taken as 14 feet the two design trucks shall be placed in adjacent spans to produce the maximum force effect. For better understanding of this clause, we can take the example of AFTO LRFT load HL93 truck vehicle. So according to this clause, the maximum negative moment and reaction at the interior support should be considered by placing two vehicles spaced not more than 50 feet on either side of the interior span or the intermediate pier support. The spacing between 32 kip axle should be 14 feet. Now when considering the design truck loads, we have to reduce it by 90%. That is in this case, it will be 8 and 32 kips, which is the design truck loads. It will be reduced by 90%. That will be 14.4 kips and 3.6 kips per axle. Likewise, the design lane load will also be reduced. Here it is 0.64 kips per feet, which will be reduced to 0.288 kips per feet per axle. And at the end, the vehicles will be placed on both sides of the pier and it will be like spaced in such a way that the most critical effects can be viewed. Now coming on to the lane support feature in Midas Civil. To actually consider the mentioned AFTO clause for lane support negative moment and reaction automatically in the software, there are certain prerequisites. So we have to ensure that all the steps are performed to consider the lane support feature. The first one is while defining the traffic lane, we have to indicate the start and end span of the peer locations. So here we have to specify that we have a support here, the start point and also the intermediate support locations. Likewise, add the lane support negative moment for intermediate peers, which basically means that all the nodes on the main girder near the intermediate peer which would have been negative moment needs to be selected and added. I'll be explaining this part in the demo portion. And likewise, add lane support reaction for intermediate peers. So let's jump into the software. For better understanding, I have considered a two-span continuous bridge which is fixed at both ends and pinned at the intermediate support. It is 300 feet long and the intermediate support is defined at the center, but that is at the 150th feet. Now the first step is defining the start and end spans, span points. For that go to traffic line lanes. This is applicable for traffic surface lanes too. So click on the traffic lane. I have already defined it. So in the first element, I have considered a support. So here we have to check this box on. Likewise, on the 150th element, see that on the 150th element, I have defined the intermediate support. So here at the 150th element, we have to check this box on. As you can see here, the end span is not necessary, but yes, you can provide it. Now the next up, next step is defining the lane support negative moment. So for this purpose, we have to define a structure group. Girders, I have defined it already. Here we have 300 elements, so I have defined all the elements here. 1 to 300. 
select the girder, uh, structure group click on add now go to lane support reaction i have defined the support at node number 151 so select the node number 151 click on apply so you can see this here let's lock the model now see the results go to results moving load tracer beam force or moments first let's see the lane support negative moments for that i'll be considering the 150th element which is close to the negative intermediate span mv min for seeing the hogging moments gone apply now here you can see both the vehicles are uh, placed on both sides of the intermediate support the design truck loads is reduced by 90 percent which is 14.4 and 3.6 likewise the design traffic uh, line uh, the lane loads are also reduced to 90 percent it is 0.209 you can say 0.288 which is rounded off now for checking the spacing between the axles go to queries query nodes these are the 32 kips axles here you can see that 14 feet is the spacing between the 32 kips axles now let's check the distance between the vehicles click on here this will be the node here now you can see that here to the rear axle sorry about that yeah from there you can see that it is spaced at 75 feet apart likewise to see the reaction at the intermediate peer support Go to results, moving load tracer, reactions, select the node 151, MV max, click on apply. Now we can see this is how the vehicles will be placed. The design loads has been reduced again. Now for checking the spacing between the vehicles, click here. can see that it is spaced at 49 feet ideally speaking this will be 50 feet apart you can see 51 feet but it is kept in between placed in between two elements in between an element so that is why this one feet difference is coming so i hope this is clear So stay tuned for much interesting videos. Thank you.